today we will take a look on how to create statistical key figures in SAP. So first of all, before we start here in controlling or managerial accounting, we have the process for cost allocation, meaning that one of the main processes in controlling is that we allocate the costs of different cost centers or other controlling objects. And with statistical key figures, we can allocate all the costs which accumulate on one cost center to other cost centers. And this is done monthly. Let me give you an example. So for instance, building costs for maintenance, depreciation, and also energy consumption. Those costs are allocated each and every month from the building cost center to, for instance, all of the production centers that consume, for instance, the energy or that use the building. And so they need to share the depreciation of the building and also maintenance costs. Therefore, we need a statistical key figure for the allocation, which is here in this case based on the square meters of our building. So for instance, let's say we have a building with in total 1000 square meters and the total monthly costs would be 100,000 euro. We have three production lines and one of the production lines uses 500 square meters, another one uses 300 and the third one uses 200 square meters of the total of 1,000. So depending on the square meters used by each and every production line, we calculate what share of the total costs over here, the production line or the cost center behind the production line needs to take over. So for the first production line, it would be 100,000 euro times the share or square meters the production line takes from the total square meters available, which will be 500 out of the 1000. And so we get to 50,000 euro, which are allocated to production line one each and every month. And the same we do for production line two. So 300 square meters of the total share of 1000 euro. This means 300 square meters divided by the total, which is 1000. So the production line two takes over 30,000 euro of the total amount. And for production line three, actually over here, we have 200 square meters. So from the total share of 100,000 euro, 200 divided by 1,000, meaning that 20,000 euro will be taken over by production line three. To do this allocation, we need to create now a statistical key figure for the square meters. Let's actually jump into the system and see how this is done. So therefore we navigate to transaction code KK01. For our controlling area, which is by the way, for instance, set via transaction code OKKS, we can now create a new statistical key figure, either from scratch or as always as a copy from another one, which is already existing. In my case, let's create one from scratch. So the ID over here can be up to six characters and can be alphanumeric. But for our case, let's just say square meters 01, for instance. And we have forwarded to this page over here. So here we can provide in the basic data a name, let's say square meters for building, for instance. And this description can be up to 30 characters long. And then you can see here we have a mandatory field. Let's actually enhance the view. We can see unit for statistical key figure. So mandatory is that we provide a unit for our statistical key figure. In our case, this is square meter. So I will just search here for the unit text square. Here we can see square meter, this is it. Here we have a radio button where we can either select fixed values or total values. And I wrote it down over here for you. So fixed values, our classical example, are the square meters, we select a radio button fixed values if we have a statistical key figure that does not change over several periods. So for instance, the square meters of our building, they won't necessarily change over the next couple of periods, only if we would extend the building itself via construction. And then we have total values. An example would here the kilowatt hours of electricity consumed. So this can change every period and we could sum up for instance, easily the kilowatt hours of electricity consumed in a month or a year and so on. In our case, we have the square meters, so we set the key figure to fixed values. Let's now actually save our statistical key figure. Let's now imagine that for any reason we want to change our already created statistical key figure. Therefore, we go to more statistical key figure, change, we select our statistical key figure and now the name over here can always be changed and this does not have any consequences. However, if we want to change the unit for the statistical key figure or the key figure category, we should only do so if this statistical key figure was not yet utilized for our planning purposes. We can check this via more edit display assignments. And over here, we get the message no assignment found for the key figure. This is because we just created it and we did not use it yet for any kind of planning. So for our case, this is fine. Otherwise, instead of this message, 
you would get kind of a list saying where the statistical key figures are already used. And in this case, we should definitely avoid changing values like the unit of measure or the key figure category for this statistical key figure. And we should rather create a new one. One more thing, if for any reason, the statistical key figure units of measure, which are already existing in the system are not sufficient for your purposes, you can also create your own units of measure via transaction code slash N C U N I. At C U N I. And then over here, click on units of measure, and there you could create your own ones. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. If you like this content, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. This would mean a lot. Thanks.